All right. Welcome to, I guess, the first official episode of Uncut and Unheard. So, I want to be clear in the first kind of episode here that even though Unheard is in the name, I'm going to be talking. It's not going to be commentary free. Nothing like that. That's just the addition of the game we're playing on. But uh, Uncut will ring true. So, I will not be editing this gameplay. The plan is, I play this entire raid, maybe more, I don't know, we just play the game, and um, I just upload the raw file, that's literally it. And basically, it saves me a ton of work, the first kind of iteration to this series, I uh, spent over an hour editing it. It's not really what I want to be doing, when I could be playing the game. So, this is a format that I do a lot on uh, the Aces Plays channel. Excuse me while I check a text. And basically, it works out really well. I really enjoy recording games this way. It saves me a ton of work. And um, it just makes not only creating the content more enjoyable, but it makes making the content uh, more enjoyable, the game more enjoyable, everything more enjoyable uh, and stress-free for me. So... Kind of takes away slightly from the viewing experience, but you get way more content from me this way, so I think it's a win at the end of the day. But we're back on ground zero. We are doing the... not that. We're doing burning rubber. We're going to take the car extract, if I remember the rubles, which I did. And then we also got our operational task. Uh, we're going to be trying to find some AA batteries, which we can maybe hit the um the filing cabinets up in the scientist's office and we also have to get five scav headshots so gonna be pretty much taking the same path as the first two ground zero raids and um hopefully not another incident oh. thought i heard something over here Here one, on my left. Let's see if he wants to come up. Okay. Oh, Siri's talking to me. Now I got another text. Let's pack that mag. But yeah, this is largely going to be the experience. You know, if I'm looting a lot in the raid, I'm keeping it in. I want it to be uncut. I want to give you full raids. I don't want to necessarily copy pest, but it's that kind of format that um, is pretty enjoyable to make. Are we serious? Dude, he had a shoddy. Easily could have took my ass out. Not thrilled about burning this much ammo this early in the raid, but it is what it is. If we need soap. I don't think we do. I don't even think we need med tools either. Our scav has a 153, so I don't really think uh, this shotgun's super necessary. I'm going to carry it for now, but. I think um, I'll take that magnum, though, for sure. 
take that as well. Yeah, actually, I don't even want to really carry this right now. Gotta be honest. Can I, um, let's see if I remember. Uh, it's not Shift-T. Alt-T? Alt-T. No. What the fuck is it? Control-T? I don't remember the key. Alt shift T, dude. What the fuck? It's not tab T. I don't know. I don't remember how to eject shells. So we're just gonna have to say fuck it for now. I don't know what our friend's gonna have loot wise. Yeah, I'm not looting him if that bullet is hitting that close to us. Let's see if we can just cross the street without any issues. I forgot to loot a lot in the uh, in the last session. Oh, that's huge! Start popping juice. So hopefully I'm a little a little better this time around with my looting. Inventory already looking messy. Where's their breach doors in the in the liquor store? Yeah, there's there's two there's a double door there, so that's where that probably was. Morphine, we will take that for sure. What else is like a definite keep? He's got good sell value if we don't use them. I think I need those. Keep the wires and we're filled. All right, cool. Let those guys make some loot for me. What do you got? What do you got? Hey man, we're getting some uh, solid loot here. I will say too, like there's gonna be some people who find like single player Tarkov like super boring, and that is completely okay. That is your right, but that doesn't mean you gotta ruin it for everybody else. So, for all the people who, you know, are going to say, ah, I'm not watching this. It's too boring. That is perfectly okay. I will sit here and have a blast by myself. And for the people that want to check it out, they'll be here. And that applies to you guys, too. Like, if your homies are sent... Hold on. Wait, this is the long hallway. If your homies are like, uh, I'm not, I'm not 
buying that, you know, I'm boycotting it, all this other stuff. Like, if you want it, just fucking buy it, dude. Just wall bang it? Fuck me. Another one like over here. I don't know if I want to like um, go back, push up the stairs. I don't know what I want to do yet. He's fucked up. Can't see under, right? Oh, fuck. Dead. Let me back off this. A little too many here. We are going to have to go back under. I don't know if they dragged this location as well. I don't come up this way too much. You know, while we're down here, actually, we'll see if we can... See if we can find a box of M855. Kind of doubtful, but did I check this? I did not. Contacts? No, but duct tape. Take the hose for sure. Check that already. Check that. Nope. I think it looks like um like most of the normal ammo. Or no, it's kind of a square, I think, actually, now that I think about it. I think it's like the square fifty count. We already checked the ammo spawn over there. Alright, so this one's going to be a little interesting because it seems like the PMCs like to be in the parking lot of lab. And that's where we got to go to extract. So, it sounds like they're in the street now. Like, they moved up the map a little. Now, I will say, I really hope they do not spawn in the exact same place because that's what me pre-aiming that was like he was there my last raid you know what i mean like i hope that's not always going to be a guy standing right here Fuck me, dude. They don't fuck around. I'll tell you that much. Is 
couldn't tell if that was a guy or not. So, that guy has a pause. That's what that sounded like to me. As long as we don't get head eyes, I think we'll be okay. And he was, uh... Stop it. He was definitely shooting at us. I mean, no question. What extract do we have? Emmercon, so... That's good. That'll work. Do I want the 300 black? Probably not. Is that him? No. I just don't want another flashbang situation. I think we can kind of handle our own. Some movement right there, right here. There's no way dude was trying to range me with a Taz, right? Imagine he has fucking Devi slugs. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm I'm making a bad play right there. I didn't even know it. The map is so busy. So many little objects. Never know where you're going to get fucking tapped from. Alright, so this is where shit's going to get real. Especially if we're taking car. You know, if we have to bail and not take car, it's fine. But that's what we're here for, to get the quest done. I don't like this. It's in the hallway. That's where the calm sounded like it was from. I don't know if I killed him. I'm like shooting. My barrel's lower than my damn sight. I would have thought even right there, though, I'd have been okay. I feel like I was far enough away. Probably throw a flashbang over there, see if we can uh, get a calm out of him. And see if there's any more scouts who are right. I don't know. I might have heard Kong. Oh, he might be dead.
I think the first one probably should have killed him, but here we are. Here we fucking are. We're doing okay. I'm not too too stressed about what we got going on right now. I hear him. Okay. All these scavs are just dying in like the worst possible place. So where'd that first scav die? Or was that him? I don't know, that could have been him, dude. Hello? There we go. What you got for me? Yeah, I want that. Uh, we need this. do that though i would actually like the ump mag but i think they're only like 20 bucks 25 bucks something like that from peacekeeper not too bad more text messages gonna need that you need that but that's super later this is like right now with this and I'm gonna drop the magnum we still got a lot of spots but Dude, it's going to be such a pain in the ass trying to get to the fucking vehicle extract. I actually like our raid so far. I don't think we're doing too bad. Tree scared the fuck out of me. anything with that I might no nah, I don't need that for a bit that's big Put that on anything? No. I really can't put. Okay.
nine minutes. We're gonna have to move a little quicker here. I would love to take a couple peeks. See what we got going on. Out the window, but I'm genuinely afraid of their talent. I don't know how good and or bad they are. Ah, I need that though. Controversial choice with a 34 of 60 uh, bottle of Kavas, but here we are. Oh, that's a PMC. I can just tell by how that motherfucker's moving. Don't let me like this. Fifty frames right there, that's pretty nuts. Oh, we need to get the key. We can't even... Ugh. Guys, what is the play here? I like the amount of loot we have. Oh, and a motor, brother. That's, like, really inconvenient to my inventory. See ya. We'll just do the barter. See ya. I'm going to be honest, I think we're just going to leave. I think we hit these toolboxes. Try and eye fraud a uh, pair of contacts. I'm just not ready to see, like, how cracked out the PMCs are. If they're just, like, like what, how, how bad is it going to be? I don't know. I'm just not ready for that yet. And that's kind of where I'm at in this whole uh, situation. So long story short, I'm being a pussy. Yeah, I just got to move through the raid a little bit quicker, you know? Like, 35-minute raid, I'll be completely honest. I'm more of a, like, 45 to 50 minute -er. That's, like, the time that I really like. I really love playing on customs unless they changed it back. Could have changed it back. I hear somebody, dude. I want the I want the the boat tail, but can't really get it. We're gonna be playing a lot of Ground Zero too, so if this isn't your favorite map, feel free to uh, check out some other episodes if you're watching this. 
a while after I started making them. Nah, don't even start with me. I'd say this was successful, though. Pretty satisfied. I see him. He's pretty far, though. I'm not worried about him. Yeah, we definitely got to grab something with a scope. And, um... Oh, fuck. I gotta take what I can get. Alright, well, that is, uh... I mean, we want to do hour episodes. On Ace's Plays, when I, when I do stuff, I do hour episodes. But you guys would have to sit through the loading screen. Uh, which was only, like, two or three minutes. And... Nine scav kills, not bad. You'd have to sit through all the inventory management, the load screen, all of that. I think it'd be okay. I think 30-minute episodes are just too short. Like, I just don't want to put one raid. Like, anybody can just play one raid. So. This will be a good first test episode to see kind of how we're feeling things. So here's the haul. I mean, it's quite a haul. We got plenty of open inventory space down here. Um, stash space that I can basically do everything off camera. Everything that I need to, anyway. Yeah, definitely not a bad little raid there. We've, we've had worse for sure. Keep that bad boy right there so we can start making some cash. We'll just throw everything else in here for now. We're going to need a little more ammo. Probably another mag. And we are going to be good to go. Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead. And am I already out of... I am. Okay. Well, at least we're at least we're using it up. At least we're using it up. I think we're good. Let's do a quick repair. Everything else looks straight. All right, man. I think we're uh, I think we're good. Do I want to keep the founded raid CMS? Might as well. For now, unless we unless we genuinely need it, that, that's pretty far away though for Jaeger. That's like what level thirties, forties. But uh, you know, keep them if you can, I guess. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and load up another one just to remind you where we're at on tasking. Um, we need some Salewas. We're gonna need one more one three three, which, like I said, we do have on our scav. We're gonna need two more scav headshots. We're gonna need one more double A battery. Uh, this is a factory quest, which I don't know if we'll get to. And still need to survive a car extract. Now, I didn't actually have to do that task the first time around because the moment you extract it in a raid, you actually got it for free. It kind of like bugged it, when the map came out anyway. Anything else I pick up during that raid that needs insured? Go ahead and share this just in case. All right, ladies and gents, we are good to go. So this, uh, you will see the the full load screen here. Oh, see? Good thing I checked. So, you know, feel free to fast forward. I'm thinking about maybe putting timestamps, like, 
raid one load screen raid two and then uh like outro maybe or like we just did a little inventory management so it could be you know raid one inventory management one then it could be hopefully my voice isn't fucking up sometimes when i'm loading you know all the data um so we'll do like raid one then inventory management one load screen one raid two inventory management two and that would be the video that would be the timestamps. Uh, and that would probably apply to every single one of our uncut and unheard videos. So, you know, maybe we do something like that. But we got a couple of attachments. We don't have a laser. I didn't even look if we could buy one. I don't even think I've looked at the traders. But that's where we're at. MDR treating us nice. 556, five, of course. So we're currently at a minute. Uh, I'm hoping to get us in in like two minutes because if we do have one of those like 10 minute load times i'm gonna feel not only extremely bad but uh especially if it does like the bug where it just doesn't load us into a raid then uh, i would definitely have to edit it which would be very sad but the entire raid would probably stand all right there we go minute and a half like that's not bad for single player games man like that's you know, they were... Man, there was so much negativity on release day for this. There really was. There's just a lot. Like, people were saying it's unplayable. You have to wait 10 minutes to get into raid. Like, yeah, it's release day of a patch. What do you expect, man? Just uh, trying to add fuel to the fire. Let's see where we're spawning. The goal is still car extract, but I might pussy out again. I, I, like, I like being a goblin. I love this spawn. You know, all the spawns have their advantages, I will say. But this one, uh, this one's not too bad for what we're trying to do. Let's go ahead. Now, we need those for Jaeger. We'll keep that. All right, let's get a couple more energy drinks. Let's just give us, like, just immunity or something. That's it. There's a kvass, but... A couple more buffs to us. I think we're going to head downstairs, grab a little loot, come on back up, see if the same scav has spawned over there. That, that will be, like, one thing that would... I wouldn't call it annoying. I just... I don't want to get into, like... Such a rhythm with it. That it makes, uh, you know... The viewing experience poor. Oh, you know what? Another thing... Is I can freely use flashlights. I can actually use flashlights in Raid now. And it really doesn't have any negatives. We got take the wrench. I'm gonna leave the paid. All right, let's uh, just see if he's there. That'd be unfortunate. Not there. Good. Makes me happy. We are here early. We did spawn on this side of the map. Could have influenced some things. Fucking 100 rounder. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to take it for now, but I don't think it's something I'm going to hold on to. Um, what am I, what are we looking at on stats here? Okay, same exact thing. So, I'm not even going to lie, normally, I would unpack a mag. Normally, I'd unpack a mag, use this one, and I fraud the mag. But, uh, for you guys' sake, I won't. So, we did get basement for once. I just heard one. Or I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, the moment we start, you know, getting way easier access to scopes, it's going to be a game changer. It's going to be not nearly as enjoyable to watch. But it'll, it'll definitely stop us from being uh, super, super cautious with fucking fake EOTech. That's a fucking... That's a fucking PMC. God, dude, the jump scares, man. We're probably fucked here, dude. Because I, I don't... I don't have a damn clue where he is. Not a fucking clue. If I had to assume he's in the corner of the garage, just based off where the bullets were hitting and where the, the gunfire sound like it was coming from. Shit. I mean, the guy hasn't calmed once. Yeah, nah, he's in the garage. I mean, that's... That's a given. Fuck. What's the play here? I mean, dude was just locked on me. No, no calm. That's terrifying. There's nothing I can do. That's why I've been playing so cautious in, in every gameplay so far. It's because I I know how their aim is. Like it's insane. Scab my twelve and I don't see him, I see him. That could be a PMC actually. Yeah, it is. PMC went far. I think I just saw him standing there. I think we're getting our first PMC kill here, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, if they can see me through these bushes. Saw somebody, I think.
Oh, hell no. Where the fuck did that guy go? That's him. So there's two scavs and a PMC right here, and, and we are just fucking... Fuck. Bro, he's not moving. What is the angle? Like, what is the play here? I don't want to, like, extend myself too far out, not have cover. And then the scavs get me. It's not a quiff. Tough fighting enemies who, uh, <laughs> don't miss. Hey, man, I'll take this any day. Now, this reach out might be pretty fucking stupid. I don't see him now. Fuck me. I thought, like, rogues and raiders were more aggressive, but it just... It seems like the PMCs are a little more timid. Alright, so we got six mags total. God, this PMC is being a loser. Yeah, single player Tarkov's gonna be rough. <laughs> at least I at least I get the insurance back. Guaranteed. Don't cry, I'm just a. Okay. God damn it. Fucking hell. I'm just trying to, like, think, how the fuck do you even... So I was absolutely correct to be as cautious as I was being, because, like, that's insane. Like, we're gonna have to bring in a sniper. Because I, I think only the rogues have, like, 
cross map abilities if i'm not mistaken i'm talking like 250 plus on the range i don't know man that's gonna be i didn't even look at like how i died like if it was double thorax or what it was but i mean what did i have class five or something class four actually that could have been a class three uh play carrier so yeah i think uh i think next raid we're gonna have to go in with the intention of well next raid i think i'll do a factory and just put like a shotgun or something stupid to get the daily done um but i don't know we're gonna we're gonna have to have a scoped weapon we're, we're gonna have to it's it's just gonna have to be part of how we play it and yeah that's just that's just where we're at we're definitely gonna have to take high ground as much as possible take easier kills and challenge them like that like it's just not going to be possible because of how cracked out raiders and you know the pmcs are going to be so yeah that's it i don't have any other final thoughts so this is going to be episode one of uncut and unheard if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe that's it for now thank you for stopping by i'm out